And this business takeaway segment, we get one man, we be say, stand back, Gidigba, for the world of business um, and investing. Um, the man, we be say, understand a lot where it happen for this space. And uh, why we bring and come? Because he go explain a lot where it happen so that you go feel understand, say, oh boy, um, investing and investment, no be just say you hear one kind arrow right for here left, arrow right for right. You carry head, put truck inside. You don't know, understand before you carry head, truck inside. You guys understand them because if you don't understand them, now all will be your case. Um, if you just carry your hard earned money, put inside. Um, Mr. Okinimi Autumn, you're very much welcome, sir. Nice to be here. Yeah, so um, um, quick one. Um, you be avid investor and you be technocrat for the investment space. Um, you don't play a lot for this investment space from cryptos to stocks to all of that. Um, knowing fully well, say the vast experiences and you they coach some kind of people on top investing, investment, rather, um, how, how people for you to approach investment, newbies, beginners, um, before, um, you know, say some people guys get knowledge, some people guys get different, different things, but waiting exactly be the steps as regards due diligence, we say people need to pay attention to before going into the world of investment. Okay, thank you, Frank, for having me. Okay, so, um, like I tell people, before you invest, yeah, they get certain things where you got to know, where you oh. got to yeah. before you invest. Yeah. The first thing where you have to sabi be say, what in you they invest in? Right? Do I understand what in I they invest in? Hmm. And I tell people, say, never invest in something where you don't understand. Then they pay, they then pay my friend, they pay my brother, no be investment advice. Hmm. Right? Second thing be say, how long the investments go wrong for? Yes. Yeah. Then, like, what is the ROI? That's the return on investment. Okay. Very important. And a very important thing to where you suppose to be or know before you invest in Nigeria, we say, is this investment regulated? Does SEC recognize this investment? Some people don't hear the word SEC. What is SEC? SEC, exactly? SEC means Security and Exchange. Security and Exchange Commission. Okay. Right? Yeah. So these are like the regulatory bodies that oversee investments in Nigeria. Okay. Very important. So these are some things that you have to understand before going to investment. There are, there are a lot more. Okay. Uh, another very important thing you have to understand is, ask the people where you want to invest in, hmm. their product or service. Is the investment insured? Is there a form of insurance or a form of assurance in investment? Okay, but if you're speaking of um, insuring investment, eh, some people they talk to now the company go they insure. Like some people will say you invest for, for some guy. I know I just mentioned the brand, um, one agro agro tech company. When they go meet, um, when they go court, they go court, they go to carry carry this matter go court. They talk say the insurance we day for the investment package. Now for the company, nobody investment, nobody money will be say put, people put inside. But now for the company, as a company, definitely you guys get insurance in case anything happen to your company. You go, but the toxin at the company no be the investment. So how people feel use um, um, understand the difference and all of that before we move into different asset classes. Okay, so to answer that question, yeah. if person say their investment is insured by XYZ company, okay. please write a letter to the co the insurance company to confirm the level of coverage of the investments. Hmm. Does the investment cover the produce or products from the lifespan of, of the investment, or does it cover logistics? So they have different investment coverage. It is your duty as a potential investor to research on this before you invest. Okay. Yes. It's, it's their duty as a potential investor to re research on this before they invest. Some people, they talk to this research in a buzzword. We didn't exactly be research. Um, how they feel you go, go around. Say they will just go Google because anybody, if you put anything for Google, say they pay me, they do this, they do that. Say many people, they go to the company, may they see what exactly they happen for there and all that. And before we go into different asset classes of um, waiting exactly be the um, due diligence for cryptos, for stocks, for, for, for agrotech and all of that. Okay, so to answer that question. Yeah. Research the company. Find out, does the company have a website? Okay. Now, are the executives of the company clearly stated on the website? You can, you can even go as far as finding the history of the company and the investments. Do they have history? You can even go as far as going to visit the company or those who want to do the investment to make sure that they exist, that they are a legal entity. These are the ways you can use to make sure that your investments are secure. Okay, now crypto now one of the major. Uh, I don't want to talk major, but now one of the um, highlights of recent investment, especially for for newbies, especially for young guys, um, 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 uh, um, Gen Zs, and all of that. Yes. How people for you do due diligence just to the crypto space before they carry their hard end money put inside? Because a lot of rock pools they happen for there. So for crypto, I tell people if you don't understand crypto, 
please don't do it. If you must do crypto, please do your research, read, study. The, the, the crypto market is very volatile. It is, it is a life. That means today it can go up, today it can come down. It can be bullish today, it can be bearish the other day. So it's, in very, it's very important that you tread crypto with care. If you don't understand the crypto space, please do not invest in crypto. That's what I give to newbies. Okay. Because, uh, because crypto is a high-risk investment. Okay. Very high-risk, very volatile. Anything can happen at any time. So please, if you must invest in crypto, please do your research, study, and be careful when doing crypto. Oh, okay, you don't talk about um, mom and pop shops. You don't talk about um, mom and pop investment scheme. Maybe say if you enter inside the building, find out a couple. But we did the virtual space right now. Now, the digital space, we don't transcend, enter. Yes. As we did transcend, enter the digital space. You know, Peter, I feel, uh, if I ask you now, where be the address of Bitcoin? <laughs> if, you, if you go to the address, go find out what exactly did they use the money. Maybe say how they give them, they do. What be the address of Ethereum? How people will use research as regards the digital space when it comes to cryptocurrencies um, before we go into stocks? Okay, so to answer that question, yeah. I always tell people, crypto is a high-risk investment, right? And I will say this, it might sound harsh, but I'll say this. Do not invest anything you cannot afford to lose, especially in the crypto space, right? Mm -hmm. And always do yourself to find out their history. Do they have credibility? Who uses them? How long have they been doing it? How long have they been in the space? Those that use them, what are their testimonies or testimonials about the product and service? Mm. That's what I advise to say about that. So the, the guys find out about the space. The guys go to the website. The guys do different, different things. Where we see you don't mention. But then um, the crypto space, now space, where we see they very, very volatile. As you don't talk, when we we'll go into the stocks market, um, we took a couple of times that they get DMs and. Which exact, which, which um, stocks are people buy? Which shares are people buy? All of all those questions. How people who use do their own due diligence, um, research, and find out more about the particular stocks before investing in it as, as regards to stock um, 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 space? So um, as regards that question, that's almost the same thing like what I said earlier, okay. right? Do your research. How are these stocks performed in the past few years, right? Um, what, what, are their, what values do they give? Like, for instance, I, I don't mention names. Like, what values do they give? Are people using this, 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 the brand, the stocks, daily? It's imperative you find out these things before investing in stocks. What Kitty I'll say is that find out the history of the stocks. How did they perform in the past couple of months? So you don't talk all these things, man. Amazing one where you say you don't mention for you. Yeah? Um, from cryptocurrencies to stocks to um, different um, investment to different um, agrotech companies. But then in just a few sentences, um, how the Nigerian investment space, do you think Nigerians are adopting it? What exactly, how, what, how, what is the future of investment in Nigeria? at this point in time? So the Nigerian investment space is a very good space to be. I encourage everyone to go into it. It's, it's bright. It's, it's growing. Uh, it's increasing. People are investing more. And, and investing in the Nigerian space is a good place to be and a good place to invest in. Fantastic one. We don't hear from Mr. Okimini or Tum. He don't come out. Don't tell you um, how to research before going into any investment asset class. Um, you guys make sure so you understand the space before going into it. Thank you.